right? Let's go dark. It's the story of a man going blind. He's an astronomer who works in a planetarium. And it's the story of him coming to terms with having to understand the world and the universe in a different way because of losing his sight. There's one star which means a huge amount to us. It's the <coughs> one nearest to us and without which we wouldn't exist. It is, of course, our sun. We're working here with a bespoke theatre space which is designed entirely to help the audience make a connection with our, our actor, John Mackay where the character can sort of walk amongst the audience and involve them without asking for their participation. Keep focused on that black dot. Now you'll see flashes, red dots, appearing on lots of different places on the screen. There's a balance between science and poetry in the piece that we're very keen to explore uh, about insights into what a man going blind is going to be subjected to. And it's an exploration of that journey for him, a very emotional um, uh, and uh, kind of introspective and philosophical uh, journey uh, into the nature of, of, of perception um, and how we see the world and how somebody who is losing their sight has to renegotiate and renavigate their, their way around this new universe, as it were. Um, I'm, well, <laughs> I suppose what I'm really asking is, I, I, am I going to forget what people look like, their faces? That's, but what when it's what about when it's gone completely? But also very key, and this is really key to, in terms of how Sound and Fury work, and and tunes into the sort of intimacy of the piece, is that we would like to be able to take uh, the audience into the into the actual head, as it were, and into the. Uh, the strange, subjective, almost dreamlike world in, uh, in which he is um, absorbing the world around him and, and flights of fancy. And, and that's something that we like to, to do with our uh, use of sound and, uh, and, and light and darkness as well. And giving, giving that person, that character, the wherewithal to open up all of these different and unusual and troubling sometimes questions that the show addresses. We don't provide any answers. Um, but I hope that we at least sort of inspire curiosity. Listen. To the left, turf absorbing the rain. Beyond, wet concrete struck by water. Behind, a metallic tap of drips hitting the kitchen window. Higher up, the pelting of the roof light bearing the elements face on. On the right, the rain illuminates the foliage of a small silver birch. And further off, the waxy leaves of a peony tapped by each drop, splashes falling into the pond below. There is a music to the drain pipe behind the bench. <laughs> and Leo a beacon with his splashes and his thoughts. <laughs> <laughs>